Okay, uh, I'm Robert, VK7VZ, and uh, just going to do a, a quick review. My mate Steve, VK2SLB, sent me down uh, uh, his board. Um, apparently rated at 1.2 kilowatts. Um, LDMOS, it's using the new MRF 300s by four. The data sheet says for, for um, 14 megs, they'll produce 320 out. And... Uh, uh, 285 at the 1 dB point. Now on the internet, oh, the eBay, sorry, on the eBay, where you can buy these things, um, he claims 10 watts in for up to 1,000 watts out. Uh, the board says 1.2. So let's have a look at these claims. Uh, let's see where it goes. Um, okay, we're running the 7300. Uh, we're putting out about... Uh, 12 watts there and uh, 26 uh, amps we've got 47 and uh, bottom scale we've got a thousand watt slug there bottom scale we're about uh, 480 480 watts um, just below the 500 okay and this is on 40 meters um, we won't hold it keyed up for very long now, I did some testing earlier and um, what I found was these things are just not not very efficient. So um, at 10 watts, which is the, the max input, uh, the device um, spec sheet says they'll tolerate a 3 dB uh, overload without any, any effect, meaning we could probably go up to 20 watts without hurting the device. We just tested at 12. But um, at 10 watts, 480, just under the 500 mark, 47.5 volts, 25.8 amps. For uh, 12, 25 watts in and 39% efficiency. Now that's on 40. When you go to 10, uh, the maker has a video on his uh, YouTube channel. When you go to 10, he shows about um, just under 800. Um, and on 40, he shows about 680. Well, I can't get there with this board. But um, okay, so nine watts in, was giving 700 watts out for uh, 48 uh, volts and 30.49 um, for 1463 watts input at 48 percent efficiency so let's have a bit of a look here um, let's get uh, 20 uh, happening let's um, do all that okay let's have a quick key up Okay, so that's about 9 watts for about 30.6 amps for 47, and uh, we're just under the 800. We're probably about 750 there. Okay. All right. And, uh, again, I don't like to hold it up now. Okay. Well, we're close to what he did on his own video on 10 meters, but... Uh, you know where efficiency is is down even if we had it at 50 percent it's down um you know even at uh, 780 750 watts where's the rest i mean 1.2k the the spec sheet says we should be able to get 320 and um we, we're just nowhere near it and we're not near it because the efficiency is uh poor now i've had uh the circuit and um, the boards looked at by a couple of mates that are RF engineers and um, one's a, an analog design uh, engineer who specialised in building high powered amplifiers and he said uh, that basically all this length here, all this length here is a problem and uh, nobody really does this with all this sort of length going on here. And he said it's been laid out like you would draw a schematic and he said that's not good RF practices to build a schematic on a board you you're really um, not going to get good efficiency with this and the other thing that many have commented on and let me get a light is the amount of material he has in the drains there's a whole heap of material on the drains there and um, I also think maybe he's current limiting with uh, the wire that he's got on there. But there again, he's current limiting with the, the red wires. They're his wires. Um, there's my wires uh, basically here. So um, he, he's certainly current limiting. 
this device here um, is choking off the RF and supplying uh, the drains power. Now, the mates uh, that do this stuff for a living said he's got the voltage well and truly too far away from the drains, and that's not good practice either. And if you have a look at anybody else's boards on the internet, be they from uh, Russia, from Greece, from uh, the US, and even NXP's own designs, um, you'll never see this, this amount of track length going on here. You'll never see that. And you'll never see such a large amount of material there. Um, now I contacted NXP and said that uh, we've got four devices on a board, sent them a photo and uh, their comments back to me was, uh, they do their own board, which is vastly different to this. Um, and their other comment was, we would recommend you stay with two devices on a single board. We also do one of them. Because they found that there was issues uh, with um, harmonics. And these things are only just cracking the 10, the minus 10 on 40 meters. They get a little bit better as you go up the band, but the um, third order harmonic stuff is woeful. Um, just at minus 10 so you're kicking out a lot of your energy into the filter you're just filtering out a lot of it there's even even uh, harmonics and all sorts of crap going on and NXP said that is the reason they don't recommend putting four of these devices on a board because there's harmonic issues um, you know they really didn't want to make a lot of comment about this board but they basically said uh, you know buy one of their boards which is two devices in push-pull not like this one now when you have a look here these two are in parallel and these two are in parallel you can clearly see that here um, we come off the four to one we're splitting this way and this way comes in here and um, basically dc blocking caps here um, bias is put on here so we're in parallel for these two and you can see it on the output there's the drain there and the drain there parallel here we're in parallel and then the two of these are in push pull and um, yeah, I was advised by quite a few guys in the know who build these things that don't do it like that. So um, anyway, they're on eBay. Um, you know, the devices we have here, we should easily be getting to um, 1.2 kilowatts out. And as I've shown you on, on 10, we're just, you know, shy of 800. And on 40, it's woeful. And uh, just one more look of the testing I did a bit earlier and uh, you can see the problem here is the efficiency they're just not very efficient in this configuration and um, you know do you want to invest your money in something that's just not going to make the rated power and it's going to throw a lot of power into the heatsink um, I don't know um, w me and my uh, mate Steve we're now going to pull these devices off the boards and put them onto some other boards. We'll probably run a pair of boards in, um, you know, push pull each board, and then we'll just put a splitter and combiner on because we're wasting our time here with this. I had nothing but dramas trying to get my money back, and we're both regretting we didn't buy these things off um, eBay and pay with PayPal because uh, we wouldn't be the owners of these now, but uh, it's okay. You live and learn, and you get to make some great YouTube content um, with this stuff. But uh, anyway, that's um, they're good-looking boards. They just have very poor performance. I'm uh, Robert, VK7VZ, and uh, thanks for watching.